All right, guys, so we are back again. All right, so I'm just walking through this question for Ms. Um, Ms. Green, just for clarity. So are you there, Ms. Green? Yes, sir. All right. So we already established that the tangent would be equal to the side the tan of angle C would be equal to the side AB over BC. And so that would give us, um, if we are now to put in the values, we would have tan of 38 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 32 over x. And now, in order to make x a subject, we can bring up the x on the left-hand side. And at the same time, we bring down the tan. So if we bring up the x and simultaneously bring down the tan, we will get x to be 32 divided by tan of 38 and uh, Mr. Lamar had worked out the tan of 38 for us. What was that again, Mr. Lamar? It's way some. Yes, sir. Zero point seven six. Zero point seven eight one, sir. Zero point seven. Seven eight one. Right. So we calculate x by dividing the thirty two by the zero point seven eight one, and x work out to be forty one, sir. Forty one. And so that would be millimeters. All right, guys, is that clear to you now, Ms. Green? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to clear the screen and move on. All right, so there you go. That would be our answer for this question. Now, here we have two um, questions, and uh, what 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 this what we'll be looking at is trying to find the side which is marked x, but we have to decide which ratio we're going to use. All right, so I want you to um. So to walk me through the two these two examples, and then you'll get an opportunity to try some on your own. All right, so for the left triangle, the triangle on the left hand side, can somebody identify which trig ratio you would use to solve this question? Cosine, sir. Why would you use cosine? Remember, the left side is this side. So we are working with this triangle on the left hand side. Why why you say cosine, Miss Um Wilson? Sir, I was just looking at the um the, the the angle okay and and the sides relation sir and since um 
the the angle 25 degrees the opposite side would have been the the x centimeter which is the adjacent and then the the the, 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 the side that run along would have been the hypotenuse, which is 8.2 centimeter. So I was just looking at um, the cosine, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. All right, anybody else want to suggest um, any other ratio apart from Ms. Waysom? Ms. Waysom? Ms. Waysom? Thank you. Um, Ms. Miss Miss Green, you want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say the same, but somebody already said it. All right, so Miss Cabrera already um said sign. So I see we are having uh all right. My screen was frozen for a little bit just now. All right, so um, we say that um, Miss Miss Waysom, you want to say something? Yes, sir. I think we take that back. Okay, you're taking back what you said. I, I'm thinking it um it should be tan, sir. All right. Um, no, sir. Never mind. Never mind. All right. What we need to do when we are doing this question, guys is to first identify the hypotenuse so that we don't get it confused with any of the other sides. So which side of this triangle would be the hypotenuse? The side with 8.2, sir. Right. So you, the side. so you know that the side with 8.2 is the hypotenuse. Now, which side are you trying to find? You're trying to find the side with X. Now, what relation is that side to the angle that is given? The opposite side, sir. Right. So you have hypotenuse and you have opposite, which of the two ratios? Right. The sign, sir. Right. So you have to use the sign ratio. So now you, you can just go ahead and write this in terms of sign. So you can just say sign of what? Sign of the angle, which is 25 degrees. is equal to the side which is opposite, which is the X over the hypotenuse, which is the 8.2. All right, guys. So um, once you have written this out, then your next step is to solve for X. X is in the numerator. So we can just get rid of what is in the denominator. So we're dividing x by 8.2, so we can bring it to the left-hand side of the equation and multiply 8.2 times sine of 25. So we get 8.2 times the sine of 25. And that would give you X, that would be equal to X. All right, so can somebody quickly tell me what the sine of 25 equal to? Zero point four two two, sir. There's 8.2 times zero. zero point four two two. Point four. And so we can just multiply that out to get the value for x. So x would be equal to what? Three, sir, to the nearest whole number. All right, so x would be equal to three. What is the unit? Centimeter. All right is three centimeter. All right, is that clear? Now, how about the triangle now on the right-hand side of the screen? Can somebody now tell me what 
configuration you'd use for this question. Anybody? Cost yeah. or cosine. All right. So we're using cost because we know that the 8.2 is the hypotenuse, and we know that the x is the side adjacent to 25, the angle 25. So we're going to have cos of cos of 25. are going to be equal to x over 8.2. And so as before, the x is in the numerator, the 8.2 is in the denominator. So we we try to get rid of the 8.2. So we would bring it on the other side and multiply by cos. So 8.2 cos of And that would be equal to x. Now you can go ahead and find the cos of 25. 0 0.906, sir. So that would be 8.2 times 0 0.906. 906, and that would be equal to x. And now we can calculate that value for x by multiplying the 8.2 times 0 0.906 and that will give seven centimeter seven centimeter all right guys is everybody good at this all right raise your hand if you are comfortable with what we have just worked guys All right, good. All right, so I'm going to clear what I have here now and you're going to get some to practice. All right, guys. All right, guys, so you're going to try these, these six questions. And when you're finished, you raise your hand so that I can go through them with you.
All right, guys, anybody finish any other questions? Um, the time is um, running out. So I don't think we're gonna have enough time to go through all of these. So what I'm going to ask you to do instead, take a snapshot of the screen. And then after you have finished done that, you raise your hand so that I give you another set so that you could take another snapshot and then you can do, do them for homework and then we look at them next class. So everybody take a snapshot of the screen as it is right now, raise your hand. I saw Ms. Wilson, I, I think I saw Mr. Lamar, Fevera, who else? Ms. Green. Take a snapshot of the screen for me, please, uh, Mr. Bartley. Okay. I'm not seeing Mr. Bartley's hand. I don't know if Mr. Bartley's in the class because they have not been responding. All right, so I'm going to move to the next um, screen, guys. So when I do that, you, you go ahead and take a snapshot as well. So here's the next screen. Take a snapshot of this screen. And then now you can do both sets of questions for homework so that we can look at them for next week. All right, guys. Everybody finish with this. Um, it's way some. Yes, sir. Take a snapshot of this already, Mr. Lamar. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, so um, I'm going to end the class here now, guys. So we'll continue looking at these next week. All right, guys.